Here in Cleveland, welcome in John Shambi and Chris Singleton. We've got one out here in inning number seven. Now it's the second no baseman, no Miles no Straw. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Deal one. Fouled off. He was late. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. Foul ball still low and two. To see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try and tie him off. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Out towards right center field. Kepler makes the grab, and there's two down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. George Valera now at the plate. And that is cut on and missed. Strike one. Morell at second with two down. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Got him swinging for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. One run, one hit, one error, and one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Twins three and the Guardians two. Back now at Progressive Field. New inning getting started. Now Byron Buxton. Byron Buxton. Bieber back to work. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Well, these twins doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Swing and a miss. One ball, and the count is one and two. Fouls it off, still one and two. Right-handed reliever. And a swing and a miss. And there's one down. Now oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. And a good eye there. It's a good take. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. Two outs, space is empty. And next for Minnesota, Jose Miranda. One for three. Ball one, no strikes. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Popped up. Straw getting an angle on it. Tracks it down for the out. And that is that. Twins are set down 1-2-3. And it remains a 3-2 ball game.
Back here in Cleveland, bottom of the inning, here's the third baseman, Jose Ramirez. The pitch. Bounced up the middle, Correa. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. Righty reliever out of the pen, Jorge Lopez. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect a tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Here's Mike Zanino, this guy with light tower power. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Up the middle. And that chance handled. Tosses to first. Oh. And that quickly, two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Oh, nice job of the pitcher oh, to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And now it's Josh Naylor. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Inside corner at the knees. That's a strike. Good fastball. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Hard hit right side. Gordon with the toss to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Guardians fail to score. They trail it 3-2. And welcome back. Here's Christian Vasquez. The catcher, number eight, Christian Vasquez. The why to kick the pitch. In the air on the infield. And Vasquez is gone. One up, one down. Now batting the right fielder, Max. Now Kepler. batting Max Kepler. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Kicks and fires. Ground ball left side. Slings the first. Two up, two down. Good slider inside right there. The Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over Trevor it. Got the ground ball. Lorna. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth. So it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. And that one lifted in the air center field. Morrell moving under it. Makes the catch inning over so no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the night. It's the Twins three and the Guardians two. Yoan Duran on the pitch here. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while. Coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested. But we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. Anthony Santander at the plate. Well, he's been having a great year this year and hitting home runs at a good clip. And the matchup is very favorable. And a foul ball. A one down. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Andy 2 
Spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. Kicks and deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the guys that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Strike two. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. One down, base is empty. Way inside, gets out of the way. Twins trying to close out a one-run lead here in the last half of inning number nine. And the righty deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Fights it off. You'll see another. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, pretty clear to me. He was trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. In the dirt. Vasquez to first. And they're down to their last out. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. The 0 1. Bounce to third. Over to first, and that'll do it. And the Twins take the first two games of this series on the road. Thank mm -hmm. you. 